So I began, uh, I'm sure you noticed, by recording some uh, short court mm -hmm. uh, shots. And there's, uh, when we go back to the baseline, we'll see uh, more clearly kind of what we're looking at. But I want you to look at your, your racket head. There's varying degrees of execution here with how naturally or unnaturally, smoothly or jerky, the racket head is released mm -hmm. uh, through the sure. point of contact. Sure. Uh, like for me, that one was pretty fluid. That one was much more steered, uh, meaning things were more uh, tight. And this is, a, this is, from here, this is a really nuanced thing. Like the visual difference between the two is not incredibly apparent. Uh, but this one, the racket head turns over much more quickly at the point of contact. And this one, you're more guiding out and through. This is, for me, kind of a more classic style strike of the ball, but with some circle, circular element kind of added on. And this one is a little bit more modernish release of the racket head. And maybe even a little bit exaggerated. And this is, this is where things are gonna get kind of nuanced and, and uh, tricky uh, as we progress through this, is finding the right balance for you of Correct. not muscling through and making it uh, exaggerated and unnatural, but also not letting you slide back into a very lateral guided kind of swing technique. So from the, from the baseline, it's, everything is much, everything's kind of like accentuated mm -hmm. and exaggerated, it's more apparent. So this would be one where you, you got very tense and tight and you, you very much held on to it. And so th this position here is very much kind of remnants of your, your old flat level mm -hmm. uh, lateral uh, style of hitting. Yep. And so from contact on, you're very tight and tense and kind of guiding. But then at the end, it's like, oh, but here, I'm, fin I'm turning the racket head uh, after the fact. That, in, in, in essence, this motion should have happened here. But you hold on to it first. Mm, and let go. And then you let go, right, after the fact. And so that would be an example of a tight, tense, more, more lateral swing. And this would be an example of you kind of overdoing it on the other end of the spectrum. And this is kind of very much a, a forced, and again, kind of after the fact. Uh, And this is not a position you'll really see high level, you know, professional players in. So our goal here with your forehand, and as Kevin and I were talking, the good news is, is you've developed really solid fundamental framework, set up, contact, uh, use of body in general is like really strong. We have to learn how to use this at the right time and in the right direction and with the right amount of force to smooth it out and create the heavy ball that you're looking for. All right, Sean, I uh, would love to go ahead and mirror me again. <laughs> Let's just find this uh, half circle, uh, extended arm. And so that means we're isolating the, the shoulder and the forearm. It's not the wrist, uh, it's not the elbow, uh, bending over, sh shoulder and forearm rotation. So wrist is maintaining its uh, position. Imagine a wall kind of being right in front of you and just coming straight up and tip, uh, pointing the tip of the racket. Let's not, not uh, finish it any more than just this right now. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just to isolate that movement. Mm -hmm. And so because of our position and because I'll be dropping the ball relatively low, um, we'll need the face to be a little bit open uh, to create the, uh, the shape that we want but there should be significant amount of forward rotation because of the vertical uh, nature of your swing path right now. So we'd love to see that, that uh, speed that I just executed and that same shape that I just executed. Mm -hmm. We're looking to clear the ball easily, I'm sorry, clear the net easily and have the ball land well inside the service line for right now. Real slow, that same speed that you're doing right now. Mm. Ready? So, point of the racket, uh, tip of the racket down. Uh huh. That's great. Good execution. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
And now let's exaggerate the shape a little bit. I love to see you double the height, which means a little bit more upward uh, acceleration and probably a little bit more open face also. Here's your uh, starting position and your finished position. Now let's go ahead and start in your uh, unit turn position. Show me a couple of those practice ones, please. As we talked about on Friday, the big key here being achieving this, this position. If you go from unit turn to here, everything's going to end up going uh, lateral through the ball. And in real life, you know, it's not very often we actually need to point the tip of the racket down. That would be kind of an extreme uh, example. But uh, if you want to exaggerate it for right now, that would be just, that would be great. <laughs> uh-huh. Good job. A lot more momentum now with the racket head. Good, good. Here we go, let's do uh, two shadows and then we'll do a bunch of hits. Mm. Great job, Sean. Love the looseness. Keep thinking tip of the racket down and then pointing the tip of the racket up. Yep, exactly. So still release, just miss it. Get in the bottom of the frame. Mm -hmm. If you look at here, I keep looking at this window of how, that's kind of my measurement for how much, like we've been saying, release there is, that there's constant movement. And because of that constant movement, your racket head will that's right where you're with saying. Racket have moved above the um, wrist faster. Mm -hmm. yeah. So looking at where your racket is below. Yes. Versus even that being a miss hit. Uh, I think this was. Yeah, that. It's a very different plane of motion. Correct. Very, very different. Yeah, you see so how... Uh, the jagged edges on this follow-through are due to you trying to force this kind of result from that kind of swing. Does that make sense? And so if the, the body is not set up on the right plane to begin with, small parts of your body will try to adapt by steering and controlling no. and manipulating the racket head instead of just letting it swing on the right path. A couple of shadow swings, please. Tip down, yep, and tip up. Exactly. Good job, good job. Let's try for a little bit more shape. Excellent, right there, right there. Good job, good job. Trying to concentrate on that mo motion. Um, I think this is really good. I'll, I'll bring up another clip that after we started talking kind of made me look at something what you're doing, but I think this is really good because the, the looking of, like especially this, the rack isn't flat. And I'll show you what I mean in a second after we go through a couple. But there definitely is, you're creating more action. It's a little bit of, still more action, but a little bit, like when I look through it, and this is still. So when, when, when we're getting the, the rackets pointing down the court, it's, it's quite vertical at that point yeah. in, this, in this clip. So if, if, should that be getting more that way rather than that? <sighs> yeah, part of it's leading into finishing, I think because I think you're, you're, you're focused on just what's happening at contact, which is what we want. Hmm. Just notice a little bit of the difference between, I think this is the very one before that. Look how 
even at this point. Your strings are still facing almost down, down the, the court. And that's good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. <laughs> no, yeah, compared to this one. And again, this is still good. But you, but you feel, off. yeah, you feel a little bit of, but still good. A little bit more steery roll. Yeah. Down. Where the one before that was, I'll show Ian, because this one, I think this, this one. Okay, we're comparing yes, this uh, to this. Watch this one. And I was showing him how really he did a great job of releasing here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's no, yeah. There's no comparison. It's very different. Got pretty flat there. Good, good, good adjustment. Would really like to see the last two. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, show them the second to last. The ball never lies. Is that the last one? Yeah, right, this is the last one. The ball never lies. The ball never lies. Uh, so yeah, that was your, the after you made the adjustment. Mm -hmm. It's still, it was a little steered. You know, not your best rep ever, but it was it was in in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you'll see a very clear visual difference. Yeah, see the fight. Yeah. 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 So I th I think if we're gonna grab onto a single thing, it's probably probably that. The, can, can you continue to see through the strings or are you pointing the frame, the edge? Yeah, that's the... Shot. Ready? Shot. Show me that one. What did you think happened in that one? To me, it felt like the the combination of enough through the ball, but with enough turnover, okay. resulted in a beautiful trajectory yeah. that dipped really late. Okay. And it felt really solid on the strings. So let's take a look at it. This is the last one. There's a couple of balls prior to that that really fell quickly. Yeah. This is the one you just hit? Yep. Nice, good execution. Great execution with uh, the, I was kind of <clears throat> looking at those same lines we looked at before. Look where you are here, and look where you are here. How quickly your racket's achieving those two points. Let me see, let me see that ball. The, the, where I, used to, I hit a shot back that bounced like six times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me see the shot that he hit me. That's a higher ball, too. Mm -hmm. That's a shoulder high. That came in really steeply. A little bit more shape, Sean. Good. Yep. Again. Good. Just back. Good, Sean. That's it. Good there. On the on the lower ones, you tend to really. I thought you did a really good job of getting your racket in this position. And I'm curious if on some of the other ones where it's a little higher. No, that's great positioning. Good. This is I think where we're joking a little bit about the lefty love. Yeah. This is the lefty that love shot. Court shot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that wow. was awesome. I thought he did a really good job on uh, a lot of the low balls, mm -hmm. moving up and creating great shape. Uh, I think we're in a good spot. I like, think we're in a good spot. As far as understanding and execution and level of awareness. Sorry, my rally is incredible. But most of your balls were just completely neutral, though, weren't they? On that. Yeah. That's right, it's exactly what I was trying to hit. Some of them. Yeah, yes. Which, which in one way <laughs> is, is illuminating to me because I'm hitting a dead, dead, <clears throat> dead ball. Mm -hmm. It's got nothing on it, and I'm putting that back on it. So. One step at a time. Mm.